Great is the Lord, greatly to be praised in the city of my God, the mighty of his holy names, beautiful forces. <clears throat> Bless you, Lord. The joy of the whole world in Messiah's side of the great King, city of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah, we praise your name. We come before you in Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, Lord, in heaven, we bless you, we worship you. We give you all the praise, we give you all the glory, we give you all the honor for your wondrous love towards us. We thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness because you are too faithful to fail us. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of life. We are alive today because of your goodness. We thank you for indeed all the goodness and mess that has been following us from January to, uh, for, uh, January to November, Lord. We praise you, we worship you. We thank you, Lord, for through it all, we are still standing to the glory of your name. We just want to celebrate you this evening for all that you've done for us in our household, our extended family, above all the body of God Almighty, the Church of Christ. We bless you, we worship you. We say, be thy exalted, Lord. Father, Lord, we've gathered in your name this evening, O oh Lord. As you've commanded us, O oh Lord, that we ought to pray and never to faint. You said we should pray in all seasons, that all that you will need that to succeed in life. You've already released it upon us, O oh Lord. And all we have to do, Lord, is to pray to the manifestation of your glory. Father, Lord, let your spirit come down as we praise you and worship you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, in heaven, no, Lord, after praising and worshiping you, King of glory. Oh, while we are in your presence, oh, Lord, we would love to ask you, Lord Jesus, that which that we know that you alone can do in our life. Holy Ghost, take control. We come against every contrary spirit right now in Jesus' name. Amen. I come against every familiar spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. I come against every spirit of destruction in Jesus' name. I come against every territorial demon right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said, lose your hearts and grace. Amen. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Just wave your hands to Jesus. Acknowledge his presence. Tell the Lord you are here to praise him. You are here to worship him. Have moments like these, I praise you, Lord. Have moments like these, I will sing that love song to you. Singing that I love you, Lord Jesus. For all that you've done, Lord Jesus, and for all that you've promised to do. Thank you, gracious Redeemer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's praise the worship God before we go into it. So not in prayer, most time. Blessed, blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to your name, Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Most are the name of the Lord. The name of the Lord is. A strong tower, oh, the rest was running to him. And they asked for the name of the Lord, the name of the Lord, oh, the name of the Lord. A strong tower, oh, the rest was running to and they are saying, Blessed, blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Most high. Oh, blessed be the name of 
And let's worship the Lord. Never cease His mercies never come to an end. There are new every morning, new every morning. Great is the faithfulness, O Lord. Great is the faithfulness. The steadfast law, the steadfast law of my God never ceases. His mercies. Never come to an end. Oh, they have you every morning. You every morning. Great is the faithfulness. Oh, Lord. Great is the faithfulness. 
Yeshua the Lord, the Most High. Yeshua the Lord, the Most High. You are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. You are my God, the Most High. Yes, you are the Lord, the Most. You are the Lord, yes, you are the Lord, the Most High, yes, you are the Lord, Most You are the Lord, yes, you are the Lord, Most High, yes, you are the Lord. You are the most high. Yes, lift up your voice and begin to worship the Lord God. Yes, indeed, you are the Lord the most high. You are the Lord the most high God who worship you, Lord. Everlasting Father, we come before you this evening to praise and worship you. We've come to say thank you wherever you are. Open your mouth and say thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for your doings. Thank you, Jesus, for the gift of life. Somebody open your mouth and thank the Lord Jesus. Tell the Lord is worthy to be praised. Tell the Lord you are grateful for being alive. Tell the Lord you are grateful for having a good health. Tell the Lord you are grateful for the air you breathe, the water you drink, the food you live, eat, the life you are living. Tell the Lord you appreciate it. If he has not been the Lord who has been on your side, Beloved, I don't know where you would have been today. I don't know where I would have been today. Oh, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases in your life. His mercies never come to an end. Indeed, they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. <clears throat> Great is your faithfulness. Money by money, your mercies we see. Money by money, your power we see. Money by money, your grace we see. Money by money, your anointing we see. Oh, thank you, Spirit of the Living God. You are the God of wonders. You are the God of wonders. I exhort you, my Father, Lord. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of life. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. You know, when we are praying God for the gift of life, sometimes we don't know how it how mighty it is to be alive. I was discussing with my colleague yesterday. I said, she first of all said to me, said, I don't complain. When you look at what is happening, when I see the people that we are taking care of, I don't have to complain. I just give God a grace. You are very right. That has always been my strength. <laughs> I always say to people, when you complain, you don't know what God is doing for you. Why don't you pay a visit to a psychiatric hospital and see people. Money is not their problem. But mentally, their mental health is completely gone. Some people, they are feeding, feeding through oxygen. They are breathing through oxygen, I mean. Some of them, they have their peg that they are feeding to these feeding pegs. Some of them, they cannot move. Some of them, they can't use the toilet. They've got the stomach as a big place for them. Stomach bag. But you and I have the gift of life. You can move your hands. You can move your leg. You still have hope for the living. Because you live in Jesus. The Bible says Christ in me is the hope of glory. That is why we have to pray and say thank you Jesus. Before we ask you for anything this evening, I want us to really look at your life. See where God has brought you out from. Just look at yourself 10 years ago, 20 years ago, where were you? What situation were you in? Where has God brought you out from? That situation that looks as if he, there is never going to come to an end. That hopeless situation. That sticky situation. That body that was so heavy on you. 
that no man will understand what you are going through. That there is no word to explain or express what you're going through. But God Almighty, in His infinite mercy, He stood by you. He gave you hope for a living. He said He will never leave you nor forsake you. He blessed your life. He transformed you. He gives you hope. You are alive today. You have a mouth to say, thank you, Jesus. Why don't you open your mouth this hour? And say, Lord, all I've come to say this evening, in this prayer meeting, I've come to say thank you for all that you've done for me from the day I was conceived. In my mother's womb to this day, so many people were conceived the same way. Your mother took in and the doctor said, you are pregnant, congratulations. Many women were congratulated, but they did not give birth. But you and I, God protected us from our mother's womb. That makes you a winner. I remember I mentioned a man of God once preached. He said, you, God has made you a winner from your mother's womb. You'll be fighting the battle. Biologically, the, biologically or scientifically, we tell us the hundred one million span is being released, but out of that one million span, no woman has been able to give that to one million children. Only one survived, and that one was you and I. If Timmy survived him through, we be the woman we get better triplets. What am I trying to bring to everyone's mind for you to be grateful to God? For you to know that you started fighting that battle from your mother's womb. And from your mother's womb, even when you don't even know what is happening, you've been a winner. Is it now that you now know how to call the name of Jesus? Is it now that you now have the knowledge of the power of his resurrection? Is it now that you now know the name of he who was, who is, and who is to come? That you are not going to be a winner? The Lord said he will bless you. The Lord said he has anointed you. The Lord said he has exalted you. Fire above principalities and power. You are a winner. In the name of Jesus Christ. The mighty hand of God is upon you. Don't let any situation make you feel as if you've lost the battle. That was why I make an illustration with that pregnancy. It was not the only one your daddy released to your mothers. No. One million span which is able to produce one million children. But it was the case of survival of the fittest. Along the line, some get weak. And the cell died. But you did not get weak. You survived. You fought that battle. Even in the womb. You made yourself a winner because that is your destiny. You are destined for greatness, children of God. All we have to do is to say thank you, Jesus. If from my mother's womb, God has made me victorious. If from my mother's womb, God has made me an overcomer. Is it now when I have my mouth to speak that I'm not going to speak my destiny to be? That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want us to open our mouth right now. Before we ask God of any needs, anything that is troubling us, let us appreciate this Jesus. This God has made you and I a winner from our mother's womb. Father Lord in heaven, we thank you. We appreciate you wherever you are that is sound of my voice, beloved. I appreciate Jesus in your life. I appreciate Jesus in the life of your children. I appreciate Jesus in the life of your husband. I appreciate Jesus in the life even if you don't have husband, you are single. Jesus is your husband. That's what his ministry is. The Spirit just ministered to me. Some of you may say, oh, I don't even have a husband. But I tell you, if you don't have a husband, you have the best husband. And your husband is Jesus. Man. Your husband is Jesus. He will not break your heart. He will not make you cry. He will not allow anything to come near you. And when he decides to bring a person in your life to be your physical husband, it is the man that he himself will choose. I don't know who the Spirit of God is ministering to right now. Don't worry. Jesus himself will choose for you. I 
And when that time call you with no, don't thought, don't stand that you thought is wasted. The Holy Spirit will restore it back to you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, everlasting Father. We bless you, Lord. We worship you. We exalt your holy name, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done in our life, Lord Jesus. Everlasting Father, we bless you, we bless you, we bless you. Oh, Malaka San Trabaleke Sutraba. Roboske Trabale Arabakosi. Masa Tatatatata. Masha Trabale. Masuteleke Brokose. Lord, I bless you, Lord, I worship you. I exalt you, Lord, and give you all the glory. I give you honor and I give you adoration, Lord. You are God all by yourself, Lord. For making us a winner from the womb, Lord Jesus. For making us more than a conqueror. For making us victorious. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you, Lord, I worship you. I give you all the praise, I give you all the glory. In our gathering tonight, O Lord, we've come to praise the wonders of your name, O Lord. We've come to thank you for the gift of life. We've come to thank you for victory you've given to us. We've come to thank you for your blessing, O Lord. I make one wish that I had no sorrow. We've come to thank you for your provision, O Lord. To build a world of defense around us, O Lord. We are untouchable. We are untouchable. Because greater is he that is in us, O Lord. Than every power of darkness in the world. We are hidden in Christ Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We exalt you, most high God. We thank you, Lord. You are excellent in our life. The mighty and power is doing wondrous works in our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bless you, sweet Holy Spirit. Blessed be the holy name. The one who walks, the one who is, and the one who is to come. Thank you, glorious God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Turn with me to the book of Matthew chapter 20. Open your Bible to the book of Matthew. Hallelujah. We're going to be praying for the 11th hour miracle. In this 11th month, the God of heaven is going to do signs and wonders in our life. The book of Matthew chapter 20, I read from verse 6. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I worship you, Lord God Almighty. At about 5 in the afternoon... He went out and found others still standing around. He asked them, Why have you been standing here all day long? That is Jesus asking. Praise the Lord. Why have you been standing all day long doing nothing? Seven. They answered, Because no one has hired us, they answered. He said to them, you also go and walk in the vineyard. We're going to stop there for now. I don't know that thing that you've been believing God for. That you thought that thing has been idle. That has not been useful in your life. The God that never abandoned his property. In this 11th hour, he's visiting you tonight. Not tomorrow. He's visiting you right now. The Lord is touching you right now. Divine visitation is happening to you right now. Just as we read. You remember the story of the donkey. Jesus Christ said, when you enter a town, he said, you will meet a donkey tied that, that no one has used. I don't know that thing in your life that needs to be used in your life. It looks as if he's dormant. It looks as if he's not active. It looks as if nobody's taking, taking, taking note of that, that gift that God has placed in you. That uniqueness that God has placed in you. That beauty that God has placed in you. But the God of heaven says, he said to them, why are you still standing this hour? In another word, why are you not producing? Why are you not being who I've destined you to be? And they said to Lord Jesus, because no one has made use of us. No one has. The devil is trying for this, for this destiny not to come to pass. And Jesus said, go to my vineyard. The Lord is telling you that you should come to his vineyard. And as you are in his vineyard right now, the Lord is going to turn things around. Oh, I can see everything turning. Everything. 
everything turning I can see everything turning around from oh I can see everything turning around in the name of Jesus I can see everything turning around from oh I can see everything turning around everything turning around everything turning around for my good as you are in the vineyard of God, I decree and declare upon your life. That thing that has been idle in your life, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, that part of your body that has not been functioning, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, receive your healing. Function as God has destined you to be. In the name of Jesus Christ. I speak the life of God upon you right now. I speak the life of God upon you right now. There shall be no idleness in your life anymore. There shall be no idleness in your life anymore. No barrenness in your life anymore. No productivity in your life anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ. Then we are standing idle. Doing nothing because no one hired it. And the King of Glory come and tell them, go to my vineyard. We are in your presence, singing hallelujah, hallelujah. We are in your presence, singing hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. I pray over your life this evening as you are in God's presence. Whatever that has been dumb and not before shown in your life is in your brain, is in your hand, is in your leg, is in the idea, is in your business, is in your womb. Wherever God Almighty, the devil has set affliction on you, God Almighty himself said you should come to his vineyard. As you are in the triad of Jesus in his presence, I decree over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Be fruitful and multiply. Be productive right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, everlasting Father. Turn with me to the book of Psalm 30 quickly. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The book of Psalm 30, verse 11. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 In this eleventh month. The God of visitation will visit you tonight. I decree and I declare upon your life that the God of heaven that turned things around will visit you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 30 verse 11 says, You turn my year welling into dancing. You remove my sackcloth and clothe me with joy. That my heart may sing your praise and not be silent. The Lord my God, I will praise you forever. Somebody, God is going to turn your morning into dancing in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, God is going to turn your weeping into joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody, God is going to elevate you from that state that you are to another place of glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord is elevating you. Amen. The Lord is making everything beautiful for you 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are going to pray tonight. You are going to say after me, Lord Jesus, Lord Lord Jesus, Jesus. according to your word, according to your word, in the book of Psalm 30, in the book of Psalm 30, verse 11, verse 11, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, from this day forward, forward, in your coming, in your coming, turn my, turn my back. Turn my dark into light. Into light. Turn my morning. Turn my morning into dancing. Into dancing. Turn my darkness. Turn my dark into light. Into light. When your light comes upon my life, when your light comes upon all darkness give way. Darkness give Open way. your mouth and begin to decree. Amen. Oh, I stand upon the word of Jesus in the book of Psalm 30, verse 11. Lord, you are the God, oh Lord, that turn every yelling, oh Lord, into dancing, oh Lord, every sorrow into dancing, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever that is making your children to cry overnight, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, turn every yelling in their life, oh Lord, every well in their life, every sorrow in their life, to dance in the mighty name of Jesus, we worship you, Lord, we exalt you, I give you praise, I give you glory. I give you honor and I give you adoration. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are worthy, my God. Receive all the glory. Receive all the honor. Receive adoration, Lord. There is no one like you. There is none to be compared to you. The King of glory, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Lord, every sorrow in your children's life, we've come to you in this level month, oh Lord. Of our year of supernatural manifestation, Lord, show forth your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, show forth your glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I bless your holy name, my King. I exalt you, King of righteousness, everlasting Father. I bring your sons and daughters before you. What is nothing that is too hard for you to do, Lord? There is nothing that is too hard for you to do. I tell you something, beloved. Anything that Jesus cannot do, oh, there is nothing that Jesus cannot do. Anything that Jesus cannot do does not exist in this world. Jesus is able to heal you. Jesus is able to wipe your tears. And Jesus is able to turn every of your yelling, every of your sorrow, every of your weeping into dancing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, everything that troubles you, I speak the peace of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, everlasting Father, King of glory, Lord. Hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come as it is in heaven, Lord. It was his name, Lord Jesus. Oh, our daily bread. And forgive us, Lord, our trespasses, Lord. For the Lord, I thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. He said, and you remove my sackcloth and love me with joy. Amen. You are going to pray. But tonight, every sackcloth that sin has placed upon me, every sackcloth that iniquity has placed upon me, every sackcloth that sorrow has placed upon me, every sackcloth that the evil one has placed upon me, in the name of Jesus Christ, according to your word, Lord Jesus, you said, oh Lord, you turn my sorrow into dancing. You remove every sackcloth and clothe me with joy. For that today I'm in your presence singing hallelujah. Because I believe you will turn my sorrow to joy. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every sacrament of sickness that the enemy has placed upon us, I remove it in Jesus' name. Amen. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. every sacrament that the enemy has placed upon me, every sacrament that I place upon myself, oh, like I, as a result, of not living in line with your word. Every time close, and my wayward death has opened the door for the enemy to attack me. But tonight, Lord Jesus, in your mercy, Lord, Lord remove every sacrifice and clothe me with joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. my Lord, my God, my King of glory, Amen. I pray for your church tonight, oh Lord. Remove every sacrifice of sickness, every sacrifice of shame, every sacrifice of disgrace. Every sacrament of Lord of poverty, remove it from then in Jesus' name. All timely death is for your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever that digger a pit will fall inside. In the name of Jesus Christ, every sacrament of the wicked was at a place for you in this month of November. In this month of December, Lord, that is coming. In the name of Jesus Christ. As men have said, oh, let us wait for her. Let us wait.
covered for him. Oh, they are planning their call in their covering. In the name of Jesus Christ. Well, I know you said according to your word, Lord. Surely that we gather. But because the gathering is not ordained by you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I neutralize every power of darkness. I neutralize the sackcloth. I return it back to sender. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. We overcome the devil, Lord Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. We overcome the devil. Oh, by the word of our testimony. We are the one in dominion. I bring the church of God. trust not coming for you, Lord. Every man, every woman, every boy, every girl, under the sound of my voice, I decree and declare that the Spirit of God will lift you. The Spirit of God will protect you. You are hidden in Christ Jesus. No weapon from against you will prosper. Every time that rises against your life, O Lord, I condemn that this life in the name of Jesus. By the power of the resurrection that lives in me, by the authority given to me, in the name of Jesus Christ, every death cell in your body, I speak the life of Jesus, every death cell in your body right now, I command you to function in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Yeshua, in the name of Yeshua Masara, in the name of Yeshua Masara, Masuta like a broken Oh, Father Lord, I bless you, Lord. King of glory, Lord, there is nothing that is too hard for you to do. It's our year, Lord, of manifestation, oh Lord. It's our year, Lord, of showing forth your glory. Supernaturally, Lord. Show forth your power, Lord. Show forth your power, Lord. He's the level motor, Lord, of the Amen. earth. We ask, oh Lord, that your power, Lord, arise, oh Lord, and let every enemy be scattered. Arise, oh Lord, in your fullness. Arise, oh Lord, in your power. Arise, oh Lord. And let every enemy of your children's life be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. As many know that is contending with their destiny. Oh Lord, I contend with them. So what says, oh Lord, you will contend, oh Lord, with those that contend with us. You say you will fight us and fight against us. You will cause us and cause us. You will contend with us and contend against us. As many that want to make your word concerning our life this year, as our year of supernatural manifestation, not to prosper, oh, not to succeed, oh, no. not to show forth, oh, no. in the name of Jesus Christ. I summon the power to you, Lord. Every power, oh, Lord, but. Whatever has the back, sickness Amen. has name, infirmity has name, sadness has name, wickedness has name, quarrel has name, every power of darkness. Right now, thank you, Jesus. Every manipulation, pollution of the mind, right now, I take authority and dominion over you. Every spirit of pollution of the mind, right now. In the name of Jesus, I command you, get out in Jesus' name. Man. You foul spirit, demonic spirit, that pollutes the mind of men, that pollutes the mind of women, that causes confusion in their midst. The spirit of Jesus is against you right now. Amen. The spirit of the living God is against you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, out right now and never to come back. Amen. And I place in their mind the spirit of Jesus, the word of God, the word of peace, the word of the grace of God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Abba Father, you've done that. I glorify your holy name. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Amen. He has done that. He has done that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I put you in front, in, in front, front of my melody. melody. No, you, you are Lord. Lord. You are all the matter. I make room for you. I make room for you. You are not Lord. You are not. Oh, hallelujah. You are Lord. You are Lord that matters. You are Lord that matters. Oh, Lord, I praise you. I lay my life before you. Oh, Lord, I pray. 
hallelujah of Jesus we adore you Jesus, for your sons and daughters today, Lord Jesus, that you manifest, oh Lord, your glorious power in every situation, oh Lord. Lord, make it, make them, oh Lord, a reference of your power. Make them a reference of your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, dominion God, I bring your sons and daughters before you. Father, Lord, we adore you. We adore you, Lord Jesus. We enthrall you because your name is glorified. We enthrall you, Lord, because your name is worthy. Everything, oh Lord, that troubles your children, Lord, that puts an end to it today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Today, the 11th of November, 2022. Oh, the God of 11th hour visitation. God visit your children tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The God of 11th hour visitation. I call upon the God of heaven that always shows up at the 11th hour. Father Lord, visit your children tonight in Jesus name. My Lord, my God, King of glory. Today is the 11th of November, Lord. It's our year of manifestation. Lord, in this 11th hour, the 11th day of the month of 11th, Lord, I pray, Holy Spirit, that the God of visitation, visit us, oh Lord, in vitreous of God ministry. Enlarge our cause, heal the sick, raise the dead. In the name of Jesus Christ, as you are revealed, oh Lord, in that whatever is done in our life, oh Lord, you've given me the authority to speak life to it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. By the authority given to me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever that is dead in your life. Every dead situation. I speak the life of Jesus for it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your miracle. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive your 11th hour miracle. In the dead 11th of 11th. In the name of Jesus Christ. Victorious word of God ministry. Amen. The Lord said he will visit you tonight. That is your year of supernatural manifestation of his glory. <clears throat> Whatever, Lord, that you pronounce and propose against us this year, Father Lord, we receive it. <clears throat> we receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, in heaven, you are not a man that will lie. You are not a man that will lie. Your word is here and amen. You send forth your word and it comes forth and it heals us from every disease. You told us, oh Lord, that you are you lifted your words higher than your name. You do what you say you will do. In the eleventh month of this year, Lord Jesus, and the eleventh day of this month. Father, Lord, in heaven, oh Lord, we are in your presence, oh Lord. We stand amazing in your presence because we know you are the only one. You told those laborers that were standing idle that no one was making use of. In this level, hour, you visited them. You asked them, oh Lord, to go to the field, go to your vineyard. Father, Lord, when it was the time of my harvest, oh Lord, you blessed them the same way. Lord, I pray in this eleventh of the eleventh in our life, Lord. Every blessing, Lord, that you've destined for us this year. Father, by faith we receive it, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everlasting Father, Lord, I pray for your children. 
The anointing can we turn that with that you said was in us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Gracious Redeemer, dear Him that I am, ever present help in times of me. Let God who works through His and who is to come. My covenant keeping God. Father Lord in heaven, oh Lord, I thank you, Lord. Because you will show yourself mighty. That the God of heaven is strong in our midst. You will show yourself strong and mighty. That men and women will know of the truth we serve a living God. You will show yourself strong and mighty. That the grace of God is working for us. Father Lord in heaven, I pray for the church of God. The trust of God ministry. Every sound is like the sound of my voice, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for turning their morning into dancing. Thank you, Lord, for removing that sack, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for removing that evil identity from them. And you've clothed them with joy. Thank you for that leg pain that is just in love. That knee pain in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for healing that name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. That healing is permanent right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I glorify your holy name, Father, Lord, in heaven. I thank you, Lord, for all that which you said concerning us. I thank you for souls, Lord, Lord, that you brought to your kingdom, Lord. You alone is able to return to your coming. <clears throat> We thank you, Lord, for the children in our midst, Lord. We thank you for marriages, Lord. We thank you for babies, oh Lord, that you're bringing in our midst, Lord Jesus. We thank you for settlement, oh Lord. We thank you for job opportunity, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your word that is coming to pass, as you said it in the book of John, that after we suffer for a while, that the God of grace will establish us. The God of grace will set us in the name of Jesus Christ. In this our year of supernatural manifestation, Lord, you are the God that planted and no man can uproot. You build your church, oh Lord, and no get of faith or prevail. Father, Lord, I give you all the glory, Lord, for your word that is yea and amen. You are the consuming fire, but you never consume. May you consume every evil things that you've not planted in our life. Lord Jesus. <clears throat> you said that which you would do in our life. If we were told, we wouldn't believe. Because to us, we're asking how. How would this happen? The Lord, you said you are doing it. You are doing it for your name's sake. We've come to glorify your holy name. Because I know when you said it, Lord, it must surely come to pass. It may look as if he's dying. You said yes. When you plant a seed, it must die for it to grow. And when it grows, Lord Jesus, it comes with more fruits. Father, Lord, I just thank you for your word. I give you glory, my Father in heaven. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, it will grow with more fruit, more branches. This can only be you. The men and women will know of the truth. This God in the midst is mighty. I give you all the glory, Lord. I give you all the honor, Lord. I thought you must have father. There is no one like you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for making the way where there seems to be no way. I adore you, most have father. We bless you. We worship you. I give you praise, Jesus. Thank you for your healing. Thank you for the Sunday service, Lord. For the move of the Holy Ghost. We thank you, Lord, for whenever we gather, your spirit is always present. Holy Spirit, I love you. I exalt you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for all you've done. 
they glorify your holy name. Be thy exalted. Be thy glorified. For in Jesus' mighty name I've prayed. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. But I rest and abide with us now and forevermore. And surely God goodness and the mercy will follow us all the days of our life. And we will go in the house of the living God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Every blessing that we've received and every word that God has given to us today, we receive it, we cover it with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Who was this number? No, listen.